Hello guys and welcome to DTW GED Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, percent of increase and decrease. That's percentage increase, percentage decrease. Okay, and um, there are some few questions you can get um, on your GED test on this. So I'm going to be explaining it using these two examples. Okay, um, please, if it's your first time on this channel, please, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up, like and share. Okay, and also you can check our website for summary notes and study guides, free practice um, um, tests on dtwgdprep.com. You can also join our Facebook um, group, which is over 10,000 uh, members to support you in your GED journey. Okay, I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. And also if you require one-on-one -on -one math tutoring, I also offer that. You can contact me. I'll leave my details in the video description box of the video, or you can also, you know, uh, on the Facebook group, you can chat me up. I'm the admin on the group. Okay, so now let's get on to today's class. So um, this is part of the GED Maths Crash Course. I'll be leaving the link. Um, there's a playlist for the GED Math Crash Course, which I've started. There are several videos there to help you quickly pass your GED test, okay? So I'll leave the link also, every link that would help you, I'll leave in the video description box of this video. Now, you know, uh, percent of increase or decrease just measures the change from one price or amount to another, all right? And, um, you know, we use, I've been talking about ratio proportion. So the formula, we, uh, the uh, proportion formula we use to find the percent of increase or decrease is the same formula we use this where the change this change in amount is the difference between the original that's the the first amount earlier amount and the newer amount that's the um that's how you get this change in amount this um numerator up here where the original amount is just you know the earlier amount okay and we're going to look at an example here now this first example says an american cinema has raised the price of admission from six dollars per person to seven point uh, seven dollars fifty cents per person what is the percent increase you can see that there's an increment here but now in math sometimes they ask what's the percent increase okay by what percentage all right so the earlier amount the original amount is what six dollars why the newer amount is what seven dollars fifty cents so let's plug in into our proportion formula here. So we're looking for the percent increase. So that is X. That's what we're looking for. The unknown X over 100 equal to, you can watch the previous videos on proportion rates and ratio. You would understand this particular, why we have proportions like this. Now the change in amount is the ori difference between the original amount and the newer amount, okay? And the difference is the $7.50, okay, minus what, $6 over our original amount is what, $6, okay? So here we have to resolve this. So what would this give us? Let me just come down here. We have X over 100. This uh, minus this, that would give us $1.50, okay, over $6, all right? So we cross multiply, you can see dollars, we just definitely cancel dollars, you know, we're looking for percent, all right? So let's cross multiply. So we have six times X, that's six X equal to 100 times 1.5 will give us 150. You now we have two zeros here multiplying, there's a decimal here, which will move by two places since we have two zeros. That's why we have, that's the easiest way, you know, to multiply, but you can always use your GED calculator to do 1.5 times 100. Okay, if you want to be fast. All right, so here we divide to get X, we divide both sides by six. And 150 divided by six will give us what 25. So we have X is equal to 25%. So the percent increase, okay, of the price of admission is what 25 percent it went 25 percent up that's the increase from six dollars to seven dollars fifty cents is a 25 percent increase all right so now let's look at this final example here it says the loonville um, high school had an enrollment of 1500 students in 1994. this was less than the 1993 
enrollment of 1,200. What was the percent of decrease in enrollment from 1993 to 1994? So we're looking at a downward, you know, a downward decrease. That's percent of what decrease, okay? So uh, using our same proportion formula here, we're looking for percent of decrease. So that is X over 100. Now, what is the change in amount? Is the original, the difference between the original and the earlier. Okay, so and what's the original? The original amount is 1993, not 1994. Okay, because this is the earlier. They said what's the percent decrease in enrollment from 1993 to 1994. So we have 1,200 minus the student number of students in 1994, 1,050. Okay, divided by our original amount is what? 1,200. That's the 1993. Okay, 1,200. So here we get x over 100, 1,200 minus this, that will give us 150 over 1,200. Then we cross multiply. Okay, so this times this will give us 1,200x equal to 100 times uh, 150. That will give us 15,000, right? Just add the two zeros here. Then let's get x by dividing both sides by 1,200. Okay, these two zeros will cancel these two zeros. So we're left with 150 over 12 here. This would cancel here. We're left with x is equal to 150 divided by 12. We're going to have a 12.5%. Okay, we're looking for the percentage. Okay, so the unit of measurement would be what percent? So the percent of decrease from 1993 to 1994 is what a 12.5% decrease. So this is how you apply this formula. Simple and straightforward. Okay, you don't need to think about it. Okay, so just apply. Know what the, the major thing in this formula is knowing your original amount, uh, uh, the earlier amount and the newer amount. Getting the change in amount then over the original amount. That's the basic key thing that you need to really note. Because if you make a mistake here, you get the answer wrong. Okay, so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. And uh, please don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. All power is in his hands. He has the keys of life and death in his hands. So whatever fear of death that the devil has placed on you, Jesus has the power over death, not the devil. So come to Jesus and he will remove that fear from you and lead you on a path, on an everlasting eternal path. And it starts here from, from earth by giving us heaven on earth. All right, so L power is in Jesus. No other power elsewhere. All power is in Jesus. All right, so thank you for staying tuned till the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and also share this video. You are destined to win. Stay blessed and see you soon.